So we are looking at the brand new triple threat heroes, Fernando Morientes. He is six foot one, high medium, four star, four star, mostly length through, right footed. Can play striker or centre forward, but this card looks unbelievably good with 93 finishing, 94 shot power, 89 composure, really good agility and balance as well for someone at six foot one. Great short pass. Good acceleration, sprint speed, fantastic header and accuracy, stamina and strength. In terms of play styles, we've got chip shot, power header, first touch, and aerial plus. So not the best play styles, but this statistics overall look really, really good. Now, we've gone for a hunter to boost up the pace and the shooting, which you can see here on footbin gives him 93 pace and 96 shooting, which makes him into a 93 rated striker overall. You could go for an engine, which makes him controlled lengthy and boosts up that agility and balance. But in my opinion, mostly lengthy for the way I play is way better for me anyway. We are going to be doing today's review in Foot Champs, and we are going to be playing in a 4-2-3-1 system with Morientes up front on his own. So that being said, let's just go jump into some gameplay and see how Morientes does for us today. Stop right there with the introduction of kits, tokens, and now evolutions needed FC points or coins to complete them. There is no better time than to head over to IGD com get yourself some coins very very cheap fast and reliable use discount code and nanic at the store and get five percent off the link will be in the description so as i said we are in foot chance playing in a 4-2-3-1 system orient is going to be up front now his main role is of course get goals and assists but also how to hold up players is a very nice team. Now, we did do a review on Govu as the new triple threat one. And I had some of the most ridiculous gameplay I've ever seen. So I'm hoping this one isn't anything like that. Now, we've got Morientes here. You can see he's quite big. But what I like is, that's a bad touch. But what I like about him is, is his ability to drive forward because of mostly lengthy. As we get our opponents through here, good tackle there from Blanc. Mostly lengthy means he can just basically keep getting faster and faster as he runs. Do a little lovely link up. Nearly got that ball in then. A little triangle pass. Right, let's go. Counter attack. Got Morientes there. Lovely pass in. Got Kevin De Bruyne now. Morientes has got his way through. Still got a bit of work to do with Rudiger coming over there. But we do make that tackle. That's a great tackle. Can we finish it? Green time and what a save from Neuer. Very unlucky. But you can see that's going to be the role he's playing for us there. Not really meant to be making the tackles. But if they come in, they come in. Bit slow on the left stick there, I have to admit. And I've done the wrong skill and it's battled out. So I'm noticing in terms of stiffness, he does feel a little bit stiff. Skill move animation, very, very fast. But left stick dribbling, very, very stiff. So it's something to be careful with. We try not to do it as much now, now that we know that. So do keep that pressure on. Poor pass there from me. Morientes, lovely layoff. One, two. Good turn. Can we get the pace? We get absolutely hacked down there. It's got to be a foul ref. We'll have a look at his set piece to see if we can take free kicks, corners, or even penalties. As we have a look here, Morientes has got not the best. 97 pen, though. What we're going to do is run over the top and then try and play it to the shoot across goal. Let's see if we can do it. Nowhere to go. Again, trying to use that skill to get past. Using that strength. That's a, I don't think that's a penalty, personally. I do think that's an actually very good tackle, but we'll take it. Doesn't really matter if he scores the penalty or not. 97 penalty. We're going to put it top left. It doesn't really reflect on the review. Obviously, the keeper says that he saves it, which he looks like he has. Thank God, because I don't think that was a penalty, to be honest. Straight into Morientes. Aerial plus there. Referee. Got the space in behind. Morientes running the last man. We can find him. We can. Not the best touch. We do get away with it there. A bit elastic. We've got Morientes, left foot. Oh, that's a really bad finish. <laughs> yeah, keeping that pressure on. Griezmann straight into Morientes. Into that Travella. Good save from the keeper. Very, very difficult game. Our opponent is sitting in nice and deep. We've got Morientes there. Can he win the header? He can. And a great save from the keeper again. Morientes, lovely touch. Right foot, keeper movement. Just saw that last second. Now that explains why we're missing some opportunities here. Good goalkeeper moving from our opponent. Now that we know he moves, we're going to try and stick it near post if we can. Good ball in. Waiting for the overlap. Not really coming. Got that ball now. It's a good pass into Kevin De Bruyne. Can return the favour? We can. Not really where I'd like to have Morientes, but we've got him here now. Round the keeper. And he's missed. No way he's missed that after all that hard work. That's half time. Had a half, couple half chances here. A couple things I'm noticing because he doesn't have the play styles in terms of finishing. He is a little bit lacking in it. You see here, playing up front for us. We are going to bring on a little bit better passing 
and possibly a little bit more pace here. And the reason being is, Morientes is making really good runs off the ball and he's getting in behind. But because our opponent's playing so deep and he's a little bit clunky on the left stick, we are struggling when it comes to that sort of situation. So we're going to see if we can get some opportunities. Again, we are knocking on the door a lot and the opportunities will come. We keep doing it as long as we don't concede from this. Of course we are. Good save from the keeper there. Got Morientes running on the last man. Can we find him? Good pass in. Little turn. Lovely hold up. Return the favour we can. Okay, if we got the ball there on a skill move, <laughs> what just happened? Lovely little pass there. Morientes keeping it up. Lovely ball in. Can we use that pace? We can. Keepers come out and I've put enough power on the chip. That is terribly poor for me. Really good run from him there. Like I say, the spaces are coming. Just need to capitalise now. Ball out. Straight into Morientes. Lovely pass into Kevin De Bruyne. Using him as a dummy run. Can play the ball over the top. How's your touch? Very good. Now Morientes is sort of on the edge here. Bit of skill. Oh, and again, a very good save from Neuer. One-handed save there. Keeping that pressure on. Straight into Morientes. Again, we've got the ball on a skill. It's a bit of a bad pass as well, and it's going to be our ball, luckily. Morientes, green time again. Great tackles. It's a bit slow on the animation and shooting. Good ball here. Morientes, good layoff. Back to Morientes. Lovely touch around Rudiger. Left foot across goal and it's hit the post on a green time shot. I'm not sure about this card, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think he's actually that good. He's got a penalty from something it shouldn't be. We should already be 1-0 up, but Morientes has missed quite a few chances for us here. We're going to go top left and see if we save it. And we haven't, unfortunately. It's a great penalty. So we are down now. Morientes here through 1-1 with the keeper. Again, good, poor shot from him. I think this card is possibly one of the worst strikers I've used for his rating. Again, a bit slow on a turn there. We're through one-on-one -on -one if he was quicker on that left stick. Or even doing the animation for the skill moves. I generally think he's going to cost us the game here in champs. We've got four minutes to get a goal here. We're going to have one more chance of him, I'd imagine. But he needs to bury it. Missing that one-on-one -on -one earlier. Cross goal where we green timed it. Off the post has not helped whatsoever. Good pass in again. Morientes here running. Good pass back to Mkhitaryan. Overran it and he slid on the pass again. The ball back, last attack here. Out wide. To Morientes, he gets tackled there. And again, that's going to be game. So Morientes has kind of cost us the game. We're currently 14-0, now 14-1. Thanks to Morientes. I can't lie to you. I think this card is possibly one of the worst strikers I've used. He's just so slow at doing everything. We have a look at his performances here. That shot across goal where green time that he should be burying that every single time. 19 dribbles out of 30. Nine shots on target. Zero goals. One of the two shots off the post as well. Passing is good. 17 out of 19. But overall, this card is terrible. Stay away from this card as much as you can. Let's go jump over to Footbin now. So it's 210,000 coins on the day of release. I imagine his price is going to keep crashing down. Now, the issue I have with him is we were to put rest, reset the chem style back to basic. If you compare him to his base, his base is 55k, and it's only plus ones on the card. This is the reason why he's 55k, is because he's absolutely shocking in-game. His elastic dribbling is so bad. Having this body build of high and average, being six foot one, the agility and balance isn't even that low, but his body build is so wrong. But the worst thing about it is his play styles. He has no decent finishing play styles. He needs a finesse shot or a traveller or something. Green time in your shot across goal, even if it was on the weak foot. It's got four-star weak foot. You should not be hitting the post in that game. And that's what inevitably cost us the game. We did, of course, have a hunter on him to maximize that finish. And he had 99 finishing, nine shots on target, zero goals. I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, that's because I can't finish. Go watch some of my other reviews. You can see I'm green timing shots. I'm doing everything you should be doing. And this card just doesn't quite live up to it. Now, if you're in, like, Division 5 and lower, he's going to be fantastic for you. I imagine he's going to get a lot of opportunities, score a lot of goals. But at the top tier, like, being 14 and 0 in foot champs and trying to use that card, it gave me such a headache. Kind of wish I did it in Rivals now, but it is what it is. But as always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.